Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing guys the process on how to go ahead and connect your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store. It's a really easy process. So as you can see on our screen, I have both the pixel and Facebook business manager and Shopify open. So on Shopify, let's go to Facebook. Then it's gonna, it will show you something beforehand that you just click confirm. Then I went ahead and click on that button. You now it leads to here. Let's go ahead and click reconnect Facebook account. Now it's gonna open up this. Now I'm gonna log into my Facebook account. I'm gonna go here, click continue. And bam. Now data sharing is happening. So you click enable data sharing, click maximum. And this is where you can select the pixel. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. I'm gonna select a different pixel. Disconnect. I'm gonna to go to accounts. And in the accounts, this is where you go ahead and attach the business manager and the Facebook page that you wanna to connect to this Shopify store. So right now there's an old business manager. I'm gonna disconnect this business manager. Let's disconnect, disconnect. Let's go back, huh? Let's refresh this. Clicking Facebook again. Start setup for sell your products on Facebook. So this is the brand new process. This is if you have a completely brand new account, you haven't linked to anyone, this is what it will look like. So I'm taking it back. I'm removing all the settings to bring it back to basics so you guys can follow. Now let's go ahead and select e-commerce consulting, which is the business manager I have here. So let's connect to Ecoms Consulting, which you see on the left-hand side. Now this doesn't have a page left, so let's go ahead and add a page. So usually if you followed the previous steps, you would have already created a Facebook page. Um, but let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go to page, let's add a page, add a page. Let's go shop dot, uh, now to create a page. Create a new page. shop.studying.com I'm trying to pick editing. Where's editing? Where's video service? Hmm. All right, let's just go with business service. Create page, enter city. Let's go Sydney, Australia, create page. Now the page is created. So now let's try click connect again. Add page. Let's refresh this because I think you might have to refresh it when I just created the page just then. Continue setup. Here comes consulting. Add page. See a page here. Connect to e-commerce consulting, add page. Okay, still don't work. I'll come back in 30 minutes and I'll see what happens. One eternity later. So if you look at this, when I click connect, it says the business manager needs to add the selected page to continue. 
It's because when I had the old business manager, this shouldn't happen to you because you shouldn't have done this before. If you go to Facebook page, the old Facebook page was already connected. So I'm going to disconnect the old Facebook page. Now it's disconnected. I'm going to go back to the business manager. I'm going to click disconnect. Now I'm going to select e-commerce consulting, which is the new business manager that I just created to show you guys this, this example. Let's click connect. Yes, it worked. I'm going to skip domain verification for now. This is something that you guys can do on your own time. I'm going to select the page that we just created, shop.stone.com. I'm going to turn on data sharing. I'm going to click maximum. I'm going to use a pixel that we just created, shop.stone.com pixel. Click connect. Confirm. Now it's loading, it's connecting things. Now I'm going to click Facebook Commerce account. This one I think you can skip, but let's see if we can create a new. Okay, now the Shopify Commerce account is created. Review the terms and conditions. So this is the terms and condition. I'm going to click accept terms. And the setup and click skip the domain verification for now. Actually, let's do it. Let's see if it's hard. So let's click on learn. Let's just, well, you'll be learning your actual domain. You wouldn't want to verify the shopify.com domain. Verify the main domain, continue. I think I'll make a separate video for this actually, because this will require me to go to GoDaddy, etc. Oh, well, I clicked it and it, it's sort of already confirmed. Okay, maybe it's as simple as clicking it and then now it'll just say, hey, only stuff from this domain will be connected to this pixel. So that if other people use the pixel, there wouldn't be an issue. Now let's click finish setup. And there you go, as simple as that. That's how you go ahead and sync your pixel to your Shopify store. Really easy and straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Peace.